So in this video, we're going to be talking about Material Maker, which is a free and open source procedural texture generator. So now recently, Material Maker has been updated with version 1.0. And in this release, there have been a couple of new nodes released like ECSDF node for creating complex ray masked shapes, a new 7 segment display node and also includes updates to existing nodes and general improvements to the software. Drag down and you can actually see the development log and then click on material maker. Now what makes this particular version significant is that now material maker is a lot more production ready. So in the past if we had looked at this program and felt like it was still being in beta or something and was a bit hesitant to try it out since you didn't know if, if it will still continue being developed or end up being abandoned after a few years like Neo Textures and TextGraph now you can feel a bit more confident in trying this out as it had been in development for more than 4 years now and it has more than 200 nodes in it so it's still about half of what Substance Designer has but Currently, Material Maker is the only free and open source procedural texture generator that is more of an alternative to Designer. And also, Quixel is not a direct alternative to Designer. And the main reason for that is because Quixel kind of sits between Substance Designer and Painter. It is a more layer based texture mixer, I guess. You can mix multiple textures from the Quixel Mega Skins which is not free, you have to pay a subscription for that. But if you're using the textures in Unreal Engine, it is completely free. So for Unreal Engine users, it's free. But yeah, again, back in Material Maker, you can also go to their website to download textures that have been made with it. And it also showcases just how powerful it is. You don't need to pay a $25 monthly subscription to Substance Designer and if your workflow does not take advantage of certain features in it, namely the SBSAR file format, then I don't think you really need to get something like Substance Designer in it. Now to quickly explain why we use Procedural Texture Generator, firstly it helps you to generate textures of any resolution at any time. And secondly, it helps you to generate infinite versions of the same textures by simply tweaking some parameters in it. Thirdly, it also has a very non-destructive workflow so you can easily make changes to the textures. So I had played around with Material Maker for some time. So this is not going to be the exact view that you are going to be having. You can actually change the position of all the panels in any place that you want. It's a bit difficult to use the panels in Material Maker. So for example, if I were to move these two over here, suddenly now if you wanted to move this back over here, you can't. And the reason for that is because these two panels over here is actually hidden inside here. So you need to drag this over here and then drag the panel on this area over here or else it won't show up. I had been trying to get the panels over this side for some time over here and it didn't work and I was very much confused as to what was happening. So if you previously used any procedural texture generator, using something like this is by no means difficult. Again, I highly recommend you check the documentation for more information about this. Again, this texture generator is actually built upon Godot, which is another free and open source game engine. So I'm going to quickly create something just to show you the capabilities of this thing. So I'm just going to create a noise node. So you can right click over here to create a noise node. Selecting FBM noise. By clicking on the nodes, it will show you the preview of that particular node over here. So you can change this to anything you like. And you can just play around with it to create all kinds of weird effects that you like. You drag this into the albedo channel and it will create this effect over here. Now if you wanted a normal out of this, you just drag out and type normal. You have this normal map filter over here. 
drag this into the normal map and now you have this little normals over here it doesn't seem that pronounced you can play around with this setting over here to increase the normal field and after that you can actually drag and to get the depth map i'm just going to use an inward node drag it to the depth map and now you suddenly got this little effect over here i don't think you even need this node now if you wanted some color you can actually drag over here so it's for color race then i'm going to add red over here and now i have this little effect over here you can also drag the to the emission maybe we have this weird looking cube now and you can play around with these settings to create all kinds of effects the other free and open source alternative to material maker is texture lab this is another tool created by nj brown and this one is a lot more newer compared to the material maker as in a sense that it doesn't have as much nodes it only has around 70 nodes and another thing is that it's built upon electron and view and most of the nodes are created using typescript so you can easily extend and create your own nodes with it so if you're comfortable with the designer's workflow you'll really find this to be very similar and there have been very interesting looking creations with this particular tool yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye